Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to download shaders for Minecraft Java. To be able to have shaders in game, you'll need to have Optifine downloaded. To do that, you want to head to this page. If you press the Show All Versions text, you'll be able to see every version Optifine is available for. Whatever version you want to use shaders for, click on the corresponding version. Since I want to play with shaders in 1.18.2, I'll be pressing on the blue Download button for 1.18.2. That'll redirect you to an ad page where you just have to wait a couple seconds before pressing Skip. You'll then find yourself on this page, where you simply have to click on the blue download button once more for your file to download. Once the file is finished downloading, make sure that the file symbol is the same as this one. If the file comes up as a blank page for you, that may mean that you don't have Java installed. To be able to proceed with the tutorial and play with shaders, you have to have the latest version of Java downloaded, so make sure to do that before continuing. We've actually made a tutorial on how to do that, so if you're interested, make sure to click the link in the description. However, if you're all set up, all you have to do is double click on the Optifine file for this window to pop up. Simply press install and almost immediately it should say that Optifine is successfully installed. To make sure everything is working as intended so far though, quickly open up your Minecraft launcher. You'll know everything is running smoothly if the Optifine client for the version you downloaded is automatically selected at the bottom left. Now that we've downloaded Optifine, all we need to do is download a shader pack to use in game. Keep in mind that shaders are client only, meaning only you need to have them downloaded to be able to see them and use them. Other players don't have to have shaders downloaded for you to see them. You also can't install shaders on a server as players have to install it on their clients themselves. In this video, I'll be using CurseForge to look through some Minecraft shaders. The download process for most shaders is fairly similar, so you can follow accordingly. Once you've found a shader pack you like the look of, press on the file section and scroll down until you find the version you want to download the shaders for. Make sure that the version you select here is the same as the version you downloaded Optifine for. Since I downloaded Optifine for 1.18.2, I'll be clicking on the corresponding download arrow. After, you simply have to wait a couple seconds for the shader zip file to to begin downloading. When it's done, you now have to press the Windows key and the R key on your keyboard at the same time to open this small window. In the text box, make sure it says percentage, app data percentage and hit enter. When this files explorer window pops up, double click on the .minecraft folder and then you should see a folder with the name shader packs. If you don't see one, then you can create a new folder and name it shader packs as that will work exactly the same. Once you've done that, open it up and then drag the shader zip you just downloaded into it. It's as simple as that, your shaders are now downloaded. To see the shaders in action, open up your Minecraft launcher once again. Make sure that the Optifine client is selected at the bottom left and then press play. Once your game has loaded up, head into options and then video settings. There you should see a new tab called shaders. If you click it, you will be presented with the shader pack you just downloaded. To actually enable the shader pack though, you have to click it. After, press done and you can head into a world or a server to experience Minecraft in a whole new way. If for some reason the shaders tab doesn't come up for you or the shaders themselves aren't showing up in game, you may have missed a step in the tutorial so feel free to go back and refollow them again. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from our channel. Thank you for watching.